वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नित्यानंदोदित श्री नंदनंदन मंदिर चरणत गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वंदे परमाधवृंदाविश भक्ति तदे देवी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नमंजीवनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती वैसम तथो संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाश में सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगो ध्येय सदा परिभवन भविष्यदूहस्पद शिव विरचन तम सरताहम पुनगोपाल भवादिपूत वंदे महापुरुषते चरण यत्पल्लवन चंदमणिछटा विस्फुर्जीतुर्मिगोदेशदर्श पूर्णाग सुसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी का श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीताद्वैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीताद्वैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुधात संकर्तन कपितर कमलाताक्ष विशाबरौजर जुगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करु करुणा भुतार हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाकज सुरासुरवंदित दीपूप भुक्ति च मुक्ति चीतम भावान्ण सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तवागम नारायण प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वरानुषि गुरपति भजवीशनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजश च बक्षसी यस्ते समीपिंगम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 
संगो ज संस्कृति हेतु अथस्व विहित धिया सो साधु सुकृत निस्संगता कल्पते गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान नेवर टू द जीवास दैट काइंड ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस मूड व्हाट द जीवास आर हैविंग ऑन दैट भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल पुटिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ एंटेंगलमेंट ऑन द इंडिपेंडेंट भाव ऑफ द जीवा that from one one shloka from one one line that by the grip of bhagwan i have just compiled it but the, what is the original shloka it's already the same meaning similar meaning whatever be the case that kapiji maharaj speaking to her mother devahuti that prabhupa di prabhupa speaking that bhagwan that bhagwan by bhagwan whatever is given by bhagwan this independent mood that kind of diamond that is kind of that kind of independence mood that kind of diamond which we are getting on that bhagwan is not at all putting any kind of force at all that uh, bhagwan actually from his heart he wants that jeevas if they can understand that who i am and uh, how what is my relationship with the bhagwan that to serve me only that is a topmost anand but up till that point when he won't be understanding this then he will be just getting entangled in this maya and he will be just be entangled in maya and in that case the jeevas by forcefully putting pressure on them that to just attract towards me forcefully that kind of uh, uh that kind of measures i won't be taking that is not at all good also as well that is not at all good that forcefully just to attract someone towards yourself and just to take away the independence of other it is not it is not at all good at all it is not at all good so whatever be the case bhagwan actually is the independent mood of the jeevas the bhagwan is not at all taking it away that vibhu chaitanya uh, parmeshwar that which is the <coughs> which is just like the ocean of uh, transcendental bliss like uh, in the ocean of this material ocean you can see this kind of material dharma you can find in this material ocean that the actual dharma of the water in the material ocean that the actual uh, role of uh, the water that coming all composition of one drop of water is h2o only there is no difference between that what is there in the ocean as well that the actual dharm is all one and the same that vibhu chaitanya bhagwan is parmeshwar and in anuchit jeevas those are very very small infinitesimal jeevas that that whatever according to their ratio and proportion they also are having that independent because bhagwan is vibhu chaitanya that he is the topmost independent and the anuchit the infinitesimal jeevas that according to their independent mood they are also having that independent mood but it is very very weak it is so much weak that you can't even imagine that that jeevas that is not at all having is not a created object at all jeevas that uh, it is not a created object at all that uh, you are thinking that some created material uh, um, uh, <coughs> uh, creation is being done i am always speaking this shloka so this already all 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 the time i used to speak but uh, jeev is not at all a created object it is not at all created artificially at all but it is eternally present the jeevas the jeevas are transcendental in nature the jeevas are not at all material at all jeev is chetan vastu that topmost chetan dharma they have their own independent will and the jeevas are having their independent bhav and they haven't taken this independence from anyone it's automatically there with them because with the chetan vastu that transcendental uh, object that independence that independent mood definitely will be there automatically naturally it will be there that independent mood that definitely it will be there in natural mood definitely it will be there that is the actual role uh, rule of the 
jivas the jivas uh, independent mode is not at all given by anyone it is not at all artificial that that in the shraddha of jivas automatically this independent mood is there that jivas can misuse that independence so then definitely he needs to uh, face the reaction of that if he will be misusing his independence because of that he is getting so much uh, uh, that's why jivas are actually getting so much um, uh, unhappiness in his life and bhagwan always used to speak that you sh- all the jivas should come to me and you should all the jivas should take shelter of me you come to me what you are doing ha eh? what you are doing all the jivas should come to me bhagwan speaking that bhagwan is not at all taking any kind of uh, independence he is not at all taking it away and bhagwan is not at all be- becoming one kind of entanglement in the way of the independence of the jivas and uh, the actual chetan dharma that uh, in or- don't want bhagwan don't want to destroy the chetan dharma because bhagwan is the ocean of mercy and a lot of people actually thinking they are actually putting one kind of allegation on bhagwan are bhagwan can do anything ha eh? why he can't do this so it is not all possible it's not at all good if bhagwan will be making some kind of entanglement in your way then that will become karma so that's why bhagwan is not at all making any forceful at it forceful mood on anyone why because uh, jeevas naturally this if they can use this free will in the service of bhagwan then only they can get out of this entanglement of maya either they can go towards bhagwan or towards maya that is their independence bhagwan he is not at all putting any allegation uh, you can give allegation to bhagwan only if the jeevas are not at all getting independent mood at all that's why bhagwan to the chetan jeevas that kind of asad vyavhar and asad vyavhar about that in the shastras by the by pure guru vaishnav that by pure guru vaishnav that or by the shastra vichar that by their own acharan all actually is being proved that if your will is there where you will go you just need to serve me that's it that bhagwan automatically by the actual uh, wish of sadhu and pure guru vaishnav and in the form of shastras that bhagwan is coming in front of us in order to get rid of all the asat sank and also in the uh, form of mahaprasadam naam dham bhagwan is there in front of us manifested and bhagwan uh, wanting that all the bonded jeevas should go come to me and they just want to play with me and they just want transcendental happiness from me but still each and every person they are actually putting allegation on bhagwan still that jeevas that independent bhav that independent mood if you can so and by this sad and asad uh, mannerism what is being told by the jeevas everything is given by bhagwan and that person that who are actually following these instructions of the shastras if they want to hear that then definitely they can do bhagwat bhajan and they are doing bhagwat bhajan and this independent mood what is actually given by bhagwan they will be not misusing that at all they will be totally misusing that who are actually following the pathway of devotees shastras and they are just taking the kripa of shastra and devotees and they want to do bhagwat bhajan then they are actually be using the, totally using their uh, independent bhav only they will be getting a mangal otherwise other won't be getting mangal at all each and every jeeva he is actually entangled in maya that he is entangled in maya that they are actually just to put allegation of bhagwan is not at all good bhagwan is speaking that what i can do that i haven't spoken to them no this point that they are entangled in maya bhagwan he is actually speaking that bhagwan in geeta speaking that i have not at all putting any kind of pressure on someone to just do my bhajan there is the, it is their actual will if they want to come to me then it's okay if they don't want to come what i can do so that's why what actually spoken by bhagwan bhagwan speaking that vibhu vastu bhagwan is not at all uh, taking any kind of uh, sinful and good activities of anyone because bhagwan not at all speaking because jeevas are automatically doing all this that's why bhagwan speaking to arjun that i am not at all taking neither i'm 
of uh, about sinful activities and good activities i am not at all speaking that they automatically are doing they are automatically doing karma i am not at all speaking i am speaking that you just do bhakti and come to him but he is not at all uh, but he is not at all uh, getting manifested in that point that vibhu that kind of good and bad qualities will won't be taking it at all bhagwan is least interested about uh, because jeevas are doing it automatically automatically jeevas are doing according to the previous karma what we can do that's why jeevas are actually becoming scared and afraid that's why they, in this wish what we can do about the actual uh, will of the jeevas so the shloka which i have started with in that shri kapil ji maharaj is speaking to her mother devahuti what he is speaking that without association that shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur also writing in this context very nicely in the article that without sangha without association without association nobody wants to live no jeeva wants to live at all that without association no jeeva wants to live at all that uh, that association is so much deep that so much deep vichar is there that you will become mad just by thinking of it that you will become that you can can't think that how it is possible that you yes it is possible so all the jeevas bonded jeevas they are they are actually entangled in maya and that they even not only one proof you can find that jeevas that all together in on that siddh the only one pure guru vishnu top most siddh mahatma can stay alone otherwise all other kind of people bonded jeevas can't stay without association even in upanishad it is indicated regarding this association right that one atma that is actually topmost in my vastu which is there in the body that's why he wants to get connected with the other jiva he wants to talk with them and he wants to exchange his thoughts and bhava with others he wants to express that but he don't have anyone if that from the heart of the child atma is gone so you tell me whether the mother will love that child you tell me whether she will do that no not at all it is not at all possible so who will actually getting a loving whom it's only atma so nobody knows that in the seventh canto of shrimad bhagavatam also it is written in the seventh canto actually it is written that ushinod ushinod country that one country of ushinod one king is there of ushinod country he actually he is actually one getting in fighting with his neighborhood king and all his uh, he actually going to just take over his uh, sovereignty and whatever kind of soldiers he has taking and just to attack him so that he can get all his uh, uh, kingship and in between what happened that the king just uh, got, died he the death of the king was done at the in between that uh, ushinod king he is already got uh, killed by the other king and after the king got killed that oh, the news getting spread all the four direction and all the queens coming and they are speaking were in love and they are just crying oh the king where you have gone that about of uh, apart from you we we cannot stay at all they are actually speaking like that and in between that yamraj ji maharaj actually by his will own will he is actually in order to just give us instructions he is just taking one form of a child and he is just coming in front of the queens and he is speaking are why actually are crying what is the reason that actually you see this ushinod king he is actually getting killed and we are actually getting looted nothing is left in our life everything is gone away just by the death of the king so this small boy actually he is yamraj ji maharaj himself and yamraj ji maharaj in the form of child he is actually taking and speaking to them that why you are crying you tell me that where is the king of ushinod desh you tell me that is already there in front of you you just take him away why you are actually not taking no 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 he is actually are dead what what do you mean by dead you tell me okay atma is actually gone so why actually you are crying what is the reason behind that 
why you are actually crying just for this uh, body or for atma and they just uh, suddenly became so much uh, shocked by hearing this whether you are uh, crying for uh, crying for atma or you are just uh, crying for this body because atma is not at all uh, uh, atma can't be dead at all there is no death of atma okay just you are crying just for atma because you haven't seen atma so why you are crying for atma because atma already gone so why you are actually crying for that which you haven't uh, any relationship with that atma you haven't seen that then why you actually are crying for that then all the queens they could understood that from that one kind of ghost just gone from their mind and they are thinking that yes he's right and after that the yamraj yamraj gone away that child and it means i want to speak that bhakti no thakur speaking that without association nobody wants to stay at all that without association nobody wants to stay in this material world but nobody knows that how actually these pure guru vaishnava are so much top most sweet for us that it's already written in the upanishad regarding this that just for the atma just for atma that kind of relationship with atma that they are actually becoming uh, they are exchanging bhav and becoming lovable to each other but the person they are thinking this uh, gross body made of five elements they are actually just one kind of walking dead body this kind of thinking you are is just one kind of walking dead body why because no sharnagati is there he is not at all devotee so it is just equivalent to a walking dead body that's it that why actually are crying for that you are not at all actually thinking so ragunath das goswami pad on this point he is actually um, speaking in more description that speaking that uh, this asatsang is the top most dangerous thing i have already told you that pradeep prabhupad used to speak in katha sometimes regarding this asatsang in hari katha that you see that the prabhupad speak always used to speak in hari katha that uh, the other kind of behavior neither you just need to uh, promote that and neither you just need to speak uh, bad about that okay why you should not promote it neither you need to promote neither you need to nor you need to uh, speak bad about that because this person is actually material in nature and in material uh, on material platform all actually he is having material qualities and just be just be promoting those qualities then you will get a satsang in that and if you are be speaking bad about that then still you will get a satsang why because you have to concentrate on his qualities and his behavior and at that time that you will get association of that fallen soul you understand the point when i'm speaking that this this condition what you can see the prabhupad speaking that the other kind of characteristic and qualities of others whether it's bad or good that is you are act, you don't need to speak promote their qualities neither you just need to speak bad because all the four direction there are bonded jeevas whether you are actually speaking good about rabindranath thakur or about bankim babu or whether vidya sagar that netaji subhas all actually are material all actually are material in nature so you will be if you be making their promotion of their qualities and characteristics then they all their material qualities will get uh, exhibited and this exhibition of their material quality is not at all good that's why you will get his association by their promoting their qualities so this uh, your you will get the association of that definitely that's why the prabhupad used to speak all the time that uh, the qualities and characteristics of other you don't need to uh, uh, do enhancement or promotion why because he is a bonded jeeva whether rabindranath tagore or vidya sagar who so ever is he is all all are material in nature you understand the point what i'm speaking so this association without that the person who can't stay without association they all the time are doing association whether they are doing mental sang or they are doing physical association that they are doing mental association or neither they are doing physical association but everything is prohibited to do why because 
that this actually you are doing the association of bonded jiva then it will become one kind of bondage for you yourself and if you are doing the association of pure guru vishnu of sadhu sadhu pure guru vishnu then you will get out of this bondage of material maya it means that nisanga nisanga means that all kind of uh, material qualities you will that material qualities if you do the association that you will just get out of that you won't be associating with the material qualities at all and it, it the pathway of mukti moksha will just get open that he will be just going out of the three modes of material nature why because the whole material world is actually drowned in this three material qualities that whole material world this is just one kind of material ocean that this whole material world you can see this is one kind of treasure of material qualities and all we are actually going drowning in this material ocean we are just swimming in this material ocean that's it and uh, where to go we don't know at all that's why the prabhupad used to speak so just to speak promote the qualities of others and just to speak bad about others don't do at all because by prakriti and purush that kind of mixture of this material world there if you will be speaking good and bad about someone that will one become it will become one kind of hanging rope for you but if the pure guru vaishnav on their avirbhav and tirobhav that their glorification and the characteristics and qualities if you will be glorifying then there is no uh, there is no disadvantage at all that will become the top most pathway of mangal and top most anand happiness it will just open that if any material person of this material world if any person of this material world whether you are doing uh, speaking good and bad about him that definitely will going drowned into the ocean of uh, material qualities and if you will be just uh, giving the pure guru vaishnava's glorification then that will become the top most pathway for your mangal that it will take you towards the bonded condition and this actually will take you to the topmost transcendental platform you understand the point this that will just take you to the bonded condition by doing the association of bonded jiva shila raghunath das goswami pad that actually written that shri manasikha that shri manasikha that which are so much deep so much deep that you can't even imagine that at all you can't even imagine that that the person will think that what is the big point in that maharaj that what is a we know that is the topmost biggest point which you need to understand that is the topmost biggest point you need to understand in chaitanya charitamrita already actually it is written that the actual acharan of the vaishnav even one center point if we can just go inside with that that is a topmost point you actually speaking what is there in it maharaj so that bhajan the topmost mystery the mystery of total bhajan that go topmost mysterious vishay of the bhajan it is actually just uh, fixed on this point only that's why on which point it is actually fixed it you see so much nice it is that you definitely need to get rid of uh, asat sang that is the most vital point of the vaishnavas that they just by getting rid of this asat sang this is not at all normal normal thing at all all the time that asad varta that asad chintan that asad exchange of bhava all actually is going on inside your heart and your mind is getting into the bonded condition and any how you cannot get out of that at all that's why raghunath das goswami pa speaking that this asadvarta but still this kind of uh, instructions they have got that they already got this instructions no what what instructions they got the same instructions they got that what mahaprabhu speaking <coughs> ना करो लोग देखाइया यथा युगो विषय बुंजो अनसक्त होइया 
कृष्ण संसार पर छाड़ियों ना चाल जीवन दया कृष्ण नाम सर्वधर्म So if you will make that uh, actual vichar, uh, then it's a very topmost point. So nice actually this point is being described asatvarta it is just stealing everything that our vichar is that our money is getting looted our all uh, uh, treasure is getting looted but the actual point actual thing is actually getting stolen that you don't have any news of that the actual uh, real thing which is getting looted you don't have any kind of information regarding that that in the that in the <coughs> in the childhood i i always used to hear ali uh, ali baba and 40 thieves about that i have just started laughing and just remembering that what he has done that he has take how he has just uh, find the treasure of his brother that he is actually very much poor this person <coughs> and he got the information that ali baba in the <clears throat> in the gufa of ali baba i also will go and take the treasure and he will be just uh, this mantra this by this mantra this gufa will just get open that cave will get open so he just uh, learned that mantra and after learning this mantra and again he is going to the cave and he is speaking that i will be taking everything i will be taking everything from the cave and i will become the top most millionaire and he has just uh, uh, taken that mantra and just speaking in front of cave chichim fang and everything the cave just got opened and inside that he is becoming so much happy oh my god maharaj so much treasure all four direction there is all money position that's it and he is becoming top most happy with that all their money and money that's it and he is getting anand why because all the four direction he is actually diamonds rare jewels that he started laughing with happiness and he is just taking all the jewels necklace everything he is taking and he is taking on to his body and he is just taking bath with that you understand the point and after that what happened and what happened after that that all actually he is actually taking into one bag and he is actually thinking that how to get out of the cave now and then he started uh, uh taking the how to get out of the cave oh what is the mantra of that cave i actually forgot that i am not at all uh, getting that mantra he can't get that everything he just forgot and is getting in front of the cave and becoming so much uh, uh evaporated and all sweat is coming from his body and and this actually happened with him and he is actually speaking loudly and he actually not at all remembering that chiching phang is the mantra then uh, ali baba just came and he just opened the cave chiching phang like that and he just went inside are what is this uh, what, from where this person has come oh my god he just taking the sword and just cutting his head off that's it and he's gone now you take all the money and treasure you take just by speaking with anand allah and he is actually is becoming very happy and now he is becoming the top most distressful person in the world now where he will go so now this is his condition and the actual point is that here is that any how to any one that you are actually giving so much treasure to someone that in one island you are actually putting into that by giving lot of treasure you didn't didn't understand what i am speaking that i'll give you one direct uh, example from shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran th- from the glorification of uh, shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran not in padma puran padma puran always used to speak but it's of, it's the glorification of skand puran it's written there that uh, it's written that our janme jaye and here yad vajranab that vajranab actually becoming the king of mathura 
and bhajan of thinking that is very unhappy mood is speaking that maharaj what i will become the king of in this jungle nobody is here that is all jungle that after the krishna gone uh, it is all become jungle and what i will do here in this jungle that like king who will just be becoming in the jungle well i'll be getting some kind of praja out of that i am actually king no actually uh, in order to handle the kingship no person is there and from close by there from delhi haryana from all the neighborhood uh, states all the persons are coming one by one and a lot of actually accommodation and comfort just by providing that that they are actually got rehabilitated there that again they are actually rehabilitated there and after that that the king actually speaking that yes okay it's approved i will stay here previously the king was speaking what is the use of just staying here in the jungle and becoming the king so that same point i used to actually speak to you in order to um open that in front of you that even if someone getting lot of money and treasure some you are giving to and you are just putting him onto a separate island and now you can just eat all the diamonds and jewels what you will do by that <laughs> you can eat that so he will not become happy by that at all the he can't get happy why because that one atma is like wants to get for the other association of atma he is actually getting friendship and just lovable relation he is making everything is making if atma is not at all there then nothing is there everything is all inert in nature even the actual treasure is not at all jewels and uh, diamond so whatever be the case raghunath das goswami was speaking that asad varta means that all this uh, material varta all these material things of this uh, uh, temporary world this you can see all kind of different different uh, points and talks talking you are seeing that i was already discussing in the morning in 7 am uh, like in the from 7 am i was discussing in english in, in english hari katha that same which are actually is coming is actually being shown to us that you see that for atma that atma is getting connected to other atma that lovable relation is there and there is no other relation apart from that there is no reason apart from that only there is attraction and connection of one atma with the other that this asat sangtyag that the f- number one in the most vital point of this vaishnava rajya that if, do you just need to leave the asat sang the vaishnav acharan that on the basis of that it is there acharan means that seva acharan towards bhagwan guru vaishnav that asat sang by not at all getting uh, disconnected with asat sang then seva mood can't uh, be made at all that that is the total vital point those who are doing krishna acharan that apart from that what is there you tell me asat sangatya that those who are doing uh, association about that i have already told you yesterday that ragunath das ko swami pad mahaprabhu ji one instruction is there to him very topmost uh, rare instruction just by observing that we just need to do bhajan what is that ragunath das ko swami pad actually mahaprabhu speaking to him just be become stable stabilize yourself and go to your house back just like child don't become unstable and chanchal at all in the point what i'm speaking so like this is the case that by your own will nothing will happen at all that if atma is not at all there then what you will do that only matter inertness will be there and with matter uh, matter with matter no matter can't talk with matter at all you understand the point that whole that by asad varta mahaprabhu ji actually speaking indicating that
That is actually instruction. But who actually is there? Nobody. If someone is actually accepting this, nobody is there to ins- accept these instructions. That like prostitute, everything she is looting and stealing everything of a person just for her customer. All actually she is looting everything from her pocket, from his pocket. Everything she is looting, prostitute. In the same way, like a norm, like unstable person, he is giving everything is getting looted for by him by everything, all money, etc. All everything is looted by that prostitute. If someone if he is actually a top most truthful pandit person that okay he is pandit right but still inside him if some kind of greediness comes into of la puja pratishta he wants to enjoy that if something is coming then everything will get destroyed whatever he has why because that pandit and kam all all together it won't be there going at all that pandit is that person who who knows that in which i will be getting bondage and i will be getting delivered from this material world he has that topmost knowledge all everything will get ruined up if maybe maybe pure guru vaishnav or some all those tyagis or so those who have topmost knowledge if some kama can kama enters him then definitely it will he will just get into fallen condition and he'll get contaminated that contamination will come and he'll just get fall down his consciousness will fall down so so it's a very uh, very very difficult and the topmost uh, uh, imprisonment for a person if someone speaking that this is the topmost difficult thing for us and someone speaking that it is a topmost straight pathway to follow why it is actually straight and easy because nothing is there he just need to get sharnaga that's it that after getting sharnagati everything will be done all every all business is finished all vichar is finished that's it just by getting sharnagati if sharnagati is there that is the point no that uh, if it is gone then uh, anand is anand is there but up to to get up to this point that is the topmost easy by guru kripa and by it is difficult topmost difficult that this material world for all the material bonded jeevas it is very difficult to get out of this kaam krodh lobha mad and matsare that is the topmost easy for those who are getting the topmost grip of guru vishnu but still that atma nivedan it is not at all coming everything is coming but atma nivedan is not at all coming just to show showcase everything to every to to others you can do that but to show atma nivedan is not at all possible you understand the point tumar shivai dukho hai ya to se to param sukh shiva dukho sukho param sambhav na se avitar this all points actually being uh, raised if in some someone if if in if some if inside someone this kama is getting created then this kama will just destroy everything what is there in his bhajan life everything will get destroyed everything will get destroyed nothing will remain at all now like like a prostitute is to an unstable person she is taking everything all wealth money position everything she is taking from her pocket that asadvarda in the same way in the same manner will take away everything from that uh, that it will just take the effect of mukti from that person that whatever kind of temporary things of this material world that whatever kind of temporary things of this material world 
that just to get association with that and just to get related with that that is actually all asad this is all asad all temporary and that in that lot of very cheap very cheap very cheap profit and loss this kind of discussion is there that kind of shastra don't need to discuss that at all you just need to get the discussion of uh, the shastra which are actually topmost and to just get the association of those persons who are just lending money from others and who are actually getting the association of the prostitute that you just need to leave that away this varta this word actually is there no varta means to get anushilan that in relationship to that shri rai namananda that he is speaking shri rai naman ji that to all those human beings just by krishna bhakti that subhati tamati that if you are actually getting that automatically immediately then you don't need to get rid of that automatically you grab that you just need to take that what but what is the actual uh, price to buy that that lolya lolya that greediness that greediness is required that previously that previous days i have already discussed that already and that the second point is here that mukti is actually compared with vaigri tigress it is compared with that mukti why because i have already discussed it yesterday also that inside the heart of devotees they are feeling lot of pain when that your own that your own satta that in order to destroy your own satya your self discipline it they are actually feeling lot of pain in that why because with bhagwan the devotees having that sevya sevak sevak sevya relationship with bhagwan that bhagwan are having that sevak sevya relationship with bhagwan that is eternally present that is actually good and just to get into brahma and just getting nirakar formless that kind of thing the devotees are feeling a lot of pain in that that all actually is useless that's why this word mukti word the general word meaning of this word is that whatever kind of material qualities of this material world just to get out of that that is the actual meaning that is the actual meaning but uh, according to gaudi adarshan vichar that i have already told you yesterday also that is actually called mukti according to gaudiya vichar it means that other kind of swarup we don't need at all that jeevas the actual swarup of the jeevas that is required jeeva swarup krishna kala meena sevaya kutish bhola if he is getting pratishtha in that seva then he will get the top most uh, treasure in his life that's why that in his own swarup is getting the manifested that is the actual mukti that otherwise the other general conception of mukti will just get totally destroyed lot of people they are speaking different different kind of vichar and 
in that one question is coming that mukti that bhakti mohan thakur speaking that what do you mean by mukti mukti is brahma nirvan shayujya mukti that with the association of mayavadi is because of that this kind of color is coming of mukti that shayujya mukti that according in order to just destroy your own uh, 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 satta shayujya mukti will just be destroying the actual capability of the own jiva he is be destroying that or his own capability that's it like suicidal squad just to destroy their own capability that in that brahm satta that he wants to establish that is just one kind of aerial flower sky flower it's not at all possible at all sky flower is not at all possible so the brahma that conception that brahm swarup that in order to just uh, uh, establish brahm satta this aerial flower that to have that flower in the sky by that brahm satta those who want to employ that that is just like a false flower in the sky it's not at all possible it's all false fly a flower can't be there in the sky that topmost sarva shakti sampann bhagwan is the topmost paratatva that is sarva shakti sampann bhagwan is the topmost paratatva param tatva and bhagwat shakti that same shakti in chit form very fine form that bhagwat vilas and in achit swarup that in maya he is actually taking that in of infinity brahmand onto that it means so that's why that bhagwat shakti is nitya and that in chit shakti swarup that bhagwat leela and maya he is actually just um, maintaining manifesting this infinity brahman it means that uh, um, bonded jivas they are uh, subtle and cross body he is actually being maintained by and manifested by uh, maya devi and in inf- and uh, the all all the bonded jiva those people who are actually bhagwat videshi those who are against pure guru vaishnav and those who are actually against uh, gaur leela bhagwat leela that definitely they will be getting uh, that that brahm pralay that they will just pretend that they are actually they are actually getting some kind of anand by just pretending and inside their heart they are actually thinking of brahm but externally they are think they are actually putting something else just like a mask if you just making one vichar inside your heart then only you can understand this that the actual vichar of bhav is there inside his heart that he will be just getting one kind of happiness inside his heart just by thinking of that brahma vastu that just for mukti sadhan that 64 limbs of bhakti or worship is actually being written in the shastras definitely is already being written in the shastras for 64 limbs of bhakti which you just need to worship according to pure guru vaishnav you understand the point that bho mukti sadhan that all kind of uh, rules and regulation and processes which in, which is being written in the shastras that you just need to follow that definitely it is uh, uh, good that if you just uh, get rid of all the things which are opposite to that the sadhan whatever kind of processes it is actually already being fixed and transcendental in nature that who has already got mukti and those still now those who are actually going on to the pathway of mukti and those who will respect 
or that pathway that all kind of topics we just need to throw away because they are all mayavadi topics these are all mayavadi conception you just need to uh, get rid of that that is actually good that for mukti sadhan whatever kind of uh, processes what actually being written and fixed in the shastras you just need to follow that under the guidance of pure guru vishnu and that you just need to just take the support of satsang of pure guru vishnu that shila rup ko swami pad has written in this context what actually written by shila rup ko swami pad mukti up till that point they are actually asking mukti but still they they bhuk they are to bhakti they are not at all asking they are only asking mukti that's it so bhukti mukti spriha that it is actually compared with pishach pishachi pishach means those who are it is actually compared with pishachi pishach ghost bhukti mukti it is actually compared with ghost why because bhukti mukti spriha if it is there then definitely actual thing you that possibility of getting the actual thing that bhakti you won't be getting at all that shila rup ko swami pad speaking when that kind of top most rasa of bhakti you will be getting Shila Rupa Goswami was speaking that the, no spriya is there inside the uh, heart of devotees to get a sayujya mukti at all. There is no spriya, and also I have told you previously as well. Again, I have already told you that Bhagwan speaking that I want to give him that mukti. I want to give. You understand the point. now about mukti that about mayavad i'll just be speaking a few words why because this bhukti mukti spriya that is actually our all in impediments in the way of bhakti at bhukti and mukti it means that on to the lotus feet of shri krishna that top most seva just by doing that that all the parmanand the devotees that kind of uh, desire for mukti it won't be there at all it won't be there at all inside there even by mistakenly also it is not at all there like shila madhavendra puri baat ji at the last time he is actually crying actually speaking oh bhagwan where you are and all his disciples were actually mayavadi they his name is ramchandra puri he is actually speaking to his gurudev then he is giving instruction to his guru are gurudev why you are crying what is the reason that you think that you are brahma yourself and madhavendra puri was become very much angry you just get away from me you just get lost from here don't stay in front of me at all ha eh? you are actually just coming here to just kill killed me you want to uh, give me death and he is giving me this kind of instruction of brahma hab even just by seeing your face also i will get the topmost asad gati you just go away from here run away from me and i will my bhakti will get destroyed just by seeing your face where you want to go you go you don't i don't want to see your face that this vichar of mayavadi are it's the vichar is that that everything the what is what the mayavadi speaking that this uh, all uh, uh, material world that is not at all there are not at all there no they are speaking it's not at all there that this all this material world is not at all there 
it's just like this only just you externally you're seeing are it's not at all there are how it is possible this whole material world is not at all there that how you are getting sansar this material world is not at all there he is speaking if material world is not then how you are actually feeling everything so this mayavad vichar what is their vichar this is their vichar that very dangerous vichar it is you can't even imagine that at all that in mayavad vichar that uh, the nitya swarup of bhagwan that according to the shastra or that according to the uh, mayavadi vichar they are not at all accepting the mayavadi nitya swarup of bhagwan and there is no nityata transcendent transcendentality of bhagwan swarup and bhagwan dham so what is the thing then the mayavadi speaking that this material world is not at all there are are how it is possible that material world is not there that in a rope that that in one rope that there is one kind of uh, uh, brahm of a snake that it is actually snake that raju means that uh, one rope is actually hanging and uh, there is one shadow it looks like that it is snake but it is not at all snake at all <coughs> so actually they are actually speaking those mayavadis that their vichar is like that 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 in the rope there is brahm of a snake and all those sahajiyas and mayavadis if they we are actually speaking okay uh, right that uh, this material world is not at all there you are speaking right okay that you are speaking that this material world is not at all there okay we accept that and you are sp- also speaking that by the hanging rope there is one kind of fallacy of a snake in uh, a ro hanging rope like the case in uh, in the desert that uh, one water you are actually finding it is just one kind of fallacy but it actually water is not at all there so mayavadi actually wants to speak in this context that this material world is not at all there so from where this material world okay material world is not there he is speaking and he is speaking that you have some one kind of brahm of a snake in a hanging rope there is no snake but still you are uh, in a hanging rope you are having that misconception of snake okay but uh, that actual vichar what shila rup goswami pad sector or bade with devotion they are under the guidance if we are actually making this then okay that you are speaking that oh mayavadi you are speaking that in the hanging rope there is one misconception of a snake but actual snake is not at all there but the actual vichar is that that okay there is misconception but they have definitely one object that snake is there in this material world that kind of snake definitely is there in this material world otherwise why you are so much fearful about that that you are becoming fearful na by just uh, having that fear on the by having a misconception of rope to a snake that's why you are actually that kind of object definitely is there in this in this material world that snake okay it is not at all there available at present but still somewhere that snake is there definitely that reality of snake you cannot cut at all and the experience of snake definitely by that experience only you become fearful but the by seeing the actually hanging rope nobody will just get uh, scared by that who is that foolish person who will just get scared by seeing the hanging rope so mayavadi speaking that you can go to raman reti here there everywhere there you can find that ramanandi sampradaya mostly they are actually that they are not don't want it to say by at all that in one glass mirror box that they are putting one ram sita just like a murti and their radha govind aarti also going on but they, their vichar is what that that aarti this is just for concentration of mind we are doing aarti that's it why because uh, to do the actual uh, uh, bhajan of brahm that is very much difficult that sadhak that sadhaks was for their actual uh, easiness that they are actually making that brahm is uh, niragar without any form it is formless and they are just this material world is not at all there and just for concentration of mind they are actually making one kind of murti and all foolish vichar they are actually making that's it whole it's all foolishness all foolish vichar it is what to speak that according to their vichar that according to their vichar that uh, about guru tatva if you will hear then you will just uh, laugh 
you will start laughing that's it that mayavadis which are who is actually guru that that those who don't have any kind of knowledge of brahm at all up till now no knowledge of brahm up till now has been uh, uploaded that is actually called guru that only you just need to take in the form of guru if that who have realized brahm definitely he is so so am brahm himself now he can't do the work of guru himself you see how foolish conception is this so much foolish they are that those who don't have realized brahm up till now that they you can just accept him as guru it means that the philosophy of guru is just one kind of child childish childish uh, childish uh, act that's it like the uh, childish play it is just like that those who have not realized brahm they can they can act as guru so it means that who will act guru just for two moments you will be just taking accepting guru and after that you need to throw it away or you just accept the guru and after that you throw it away that i will also become brahm so i will throw a guru dev away but mayavadis don't know this conception that that avyapt swarup to just uh, do the worship of formless brahm that to just get uh, manifest in that conception is very much difficult bhagwan himself speaking in gita about this that just to do the actual uh, bhajan of avyapt swarup is next to impossible so that's why mahadev is speaking okay i have just taking one big ray for a time being i'll be just taking it and gurudev i've also taken for a timing and i'll just throw away both guru and vigre because guru is of what work what used to me you tell me so it's all rubbishness and foolishness all actually is rubbishness rubbishness all foolish conception everything is foolish conception this material world is not at all there are a foolish how it can be possible you are actually seeing this material world you are speaking this material world is not at all there param puja vasant ko swami maharaj also he is doing one festival there and at that time lot of people actually just came and one professor mayavadi came there and he don't know that uh, he is actually mayavadi and he started speaking all rubbish conception that all brahm everything is brahm and after that shila sant goswami maharaj started speaking because at the end of bhashan of the sabapadi sant goswami maharaj speaking that what you are which are you are you are brahm yes you are i am brahm he is speaking okay that professor speaking that apart from brahm nothing is there okay that no brahm is no nothing is there about brahm okay okay no worries then sant goswami maharaj what happened he just taken his stick in the hand and just taking his sanyas tand that on which he is actually going he is just taking that stick in order to uh, beat him are why you are beating me that so professor speaking and um, sant goswami maharaj speaking that i just want to see that you are brahm actually you are brahm but you are actually speaking lie that if you are brahm then brahm is actually formless without any vikar without any so i am just beating you then how what kind of vikar you are getting it is not possible that in brahm it will come so it means that you are speaking wrong you are not at all brahm brahm is without any vikar when so because brahm is near vikar it is without any vikar so how you are getting fearful so you are actually speaking lie that whole sabha they are actually started laughing ha ha that's it with full anand they just started laughing with you see how uh, wrongly he is speaking and we have our body we have everything we have every building everything is there ha we can speak this much that this is anitya this is temporary for some times so this is actually correct that this material world is temporary but this my body is there my eyes are there i am there my building but he is speaking that nothing is there everything is there but this material world is not at all there this is one kind of dream are you are foolish idiot what you are speaking what conception you are making 
सो हाउ यू एक्चुअली जस्ट आई एम जस्ट बीटिंग यू वाई यू आर एक्चुअली गोइंग अवे इट मीन्स यू आर स्पीकिंग रॉन्ग महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दैट इज मटीरियल वर्ल्ड डेफिनेटली इज देयर बट इट इज टेम्पररी इन नेचर महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट दैट बाय चिंत भेद अवे तत्व महाप्रभु इज मेकिंग दिस विचार दैट होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट वॉट यू आर सींग दिस ऑल इट इज नॉट एट ऑल ड्रीम दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल ड्रीम बट दिस इज अनस्टेबल दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल ड्रीम एट ऑल एंड माई आबादी जस्ट ओपन योर ईयर्स एंड हियर इट वेरी केयरफुली दैट माई आबादी इफ दे आर हेयरिंग दैट यू जस्ट ओपन योर ईयर्स एंड ओपनली यू हेयर इट वेरी केयरफुल दैट टू गेट द विकार ऑफ ब्रह्म इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट ब्रह्म इन द टेकिंग सम फॉर्म एंड इज कमिंग इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इफ द ब्रह्म इज गेटिंग सम विकार एंड ब्रह्म इज विदाउट एनी नॉलेज एंड ब्रह्म इज एक्चुअली यूजलेस दैन वॉट काइंड ऑफ ब्रह्म हु विल वर्शिप दैट ब्रह्म यू टेल मी फुलिश If the Brahm is actually foolish, nothing is there. Then who will worship that Brahm? You tell me. Who will just worship that Brahm? Because Brahm is actually without any knowledge and is actually useless. That this which are of the people is totally wrong about Brahm. That Bhagwan is Brahm Vastu. That Bhagwan, how he can become actually getting the vikar of Brahm? You tell me. That about that. That Brahma Ji himself. That Brahma Ji himself. That speaking this point. That that the actual anga kanti of the Govind is Brahm Jyoti, Brahm and effulgence. But you will not at all accept this. Why? You will not accept this because this is actually foolishness if you won't accept that. Simply, that Brahm cannot get any kind of a vikar at all. that brahm is nishkalang without any stain how he can get the actual transformation into some other form that the brahm is getting transformation then it will become st- uh, f- full of stain but here actually it is written the brahm is stainless without any stain this is all foolish conception what's going on this mayavadi that how brahm will can get vikar how he will transform you tell me maharaj how brahm can get transform that brahm is such a useless thing you are thinking that brahm is such a useless thing that he will transform mahaprabhu speaking himself that in this material world just be carefully i am explaining it just be careful that in this material world just be careful on this point if in this material world this kind of by uh, sparsh money is there just by touching that that touch stone that according to the chemical composition and the comic that according to chemistry you can think that whole chemical composition it is just converted into gold and definitely it is steel but that steel his chemical composition iron fe but his composition is totally changed into gold just by that that touch stone touching of the touch stone that whole gold it is converted into gold that mahaprabhu is just giving this example mahaprabhu speaking that okay that in this material world that if this kind of uh, touch stone you are actually finding that that can that can just convert the other metal into gold but that mahaprabhu giving this example that you see that in this material world that one touch stone is there which just by touching with iron it is just converted into gold but with full that where the touch stone is becoming that same touch stone only that even this material world this kind of material stone having this kind of power who can convert the other stone into gold and his own unaltered composition remains the same so that in material stone have so much power that why bhagwan that brahm can't having that kind of power brahm is actually useless than that material stone and eh? you are thinking that brahm is actually useless than that material stone you tell me that brahm is actually such a useless thing that you are thinking that it is more useless than a material stone that you are thinking that it is brahm that you are actually just respecting that brahm vastu that what is the definition of that brahm with the definition of brahm will be like this that foolishness will be like this that foolish uh, conception and definition that you are putting how it can it will will it will it be necessary will it be possible no that's why mahaprabhu by achinta bheda ve tatva this giving all the solution to us that you see that this by achinta bheda ve tatva 
that with Bhagwan, that infinity Brahmand, simultaneously different and non-different from Bhagwan. That what I have already told you yesterday. Maybe today it will not be possible to just speak in brief in dis in description about that. That our in our Dashmul Tato, Shila Sachidanand Bhakti Nur Thakur has just manifested whole points in front of us in details. Whether the actual which are Ramanucharya, whether the actual which are Yamanacharya, uh, Madhvacharya, which are everything is getting um, fitted in that. So this vichar, so nice vichar it is, that whole Mahaprabhu, that Achinta Veda Vetatva is getting uh, described and whole uh, misconception getting uh, destroyed. Maybe some disparity is there in Rishi Ramanacharya of Shakti Siddhanta and Madhva Charyas, some disparity is there that uh, Mayavad, uh, Mayavad is directly cutted by uh, Madhavacharya in more practical way and in more straight way he is actually putting an end to the Mayavad. That's why the Madhavacharya has just manifested that Sri Vigra Puja, he has accepted that Seva. So that's from all the four Sampradaya, Mahaprabhu has taken that by Sri Achinta Vidave Tattva. It can get possible to get described very briefly and neatly. And now Raghunath Das Goswami Pad actually speaking. Now Sri Raghunath Das Goswami Pad speaking that if inside that kind of Brahma, Nirvana, Sayujya, Mukti, different different kinds of Mukti is actually coming like Aryan, Aryan power, that you just need to be stay away from that all. That Maharaj, you stay away from that very very far away. You just need to stay away from that. That I have already told in Haridwar by the grip of all the Vaishnav. I have just discussed something. Lot of Katha is there. But you won't be accepting that at all. That when I am I am actually going to do that uh, Katha. Some, some Mayavad actually my, is just meeting up with me. And uh, my Mahaprabhu is speaking that if some just seeing some Mayavadi. That with your full cloth you just need to take bath. And uh, I don't have any time to just take uh, bath. Because I've already gone into Harikatha. How I can take bath, you tell me. Not possible. How I can take bath, you tell me. Mahaprabhu speaking that just by seeing Maya bath, you just with cloth, you just need to take bath. And how I can take bath with cloth, you tell me. I'm going into Harikatha just for Katha. So the actual vichar is that definitely to take bath is okay. That in uh, just by taking the lotus feet of uh, Prabhupada, Gaur Charan, Nittanand, lotus feet, Patit Pavan Jagannath, who is actually in front of the gate of the lion gate of Jagannath Puri, that Singhadwar, just by uh, and just by taking some Ganga water, and because I don't have any time to just take full bath, so just by remembering this lotus feet of Bhagwan, I am becoming uh, pure. Yeah, just by seeing the Mayavadi's darshan, you are becoming impure. So much dangerous it is. So, so this, this vichar, what is there? That you just need to stay away from that. And now what to do? That if I am seeing some Mayavadi in the way, then I am just uh, on the remembering the Bhaktivinoda Thakur's lotus feet, Prabhupada's lotus feet, Gurudev lotus feet, and lotus feet of Patit Pavan Jagannath just by taking the mantra. Like this, I used to just take bath. What to do? Just need to take a bath mentally. So this, that Sarva Shakti Sampan Bhagavan Param that they are not at all, uh, not at all accepting that. That who all the jivas with Bhagwan simultaneously one and non different from Bhagwan, they are one and the same and not and non different from Bhagwan. 
आमनाए दैट इज दैट इज द आमनाए प्राह तत्व दैट वॉट इज एक्चुअल विचार ऑफ वेदर्स दैट द सेम विचार इज देयर that that infinity shakti that adhar is bhagwan that for infinity power what you are seeing the actual adhar is bhagwan that different different ansh that tathasta shakti that is actually jiva that with inside prakriti they are actually entangled in prakriti and prakriti that when they are going away from prakriti it means that when they are going away from bhagwan that whatever darshan they are getting of this infinity brahmand what they are actually seeing or what you are not see what you see what you cannot see what all bonded jeeva is seeing for infinity brahmand that where uh, uh, transcendental and material bheda vich shakti you can that actually manif- manifestation is there of that power so this that is so much dangerous that uh, next week i will be just discussing that more in details propa speaking propa used to speak when this mayavad up till that day up till that day this maya mayavad vichar will stay in this material world then that kind of preaching of pure bhakti won't be possible at all about this we i'll be just speaking it next week and now any how that uh, in brahad bhagavata amrit we are actually already discussing that mukti pad he is actually going but still at that stage of mukti pad gop gopumar is not all liking it at all he is not at all liking it at all mukti pad what to do why because he is actually devotee he is prajwasi that to, to madan gopal he is uh, he is getting uh, he wants to take uh, to ki- he want to kiss madan gopal he want to uh, do alingan of madan gopal but definitely this kind of bhava is there nobody is there he is not all getting anand of bhukti pad so that's why he is getting away to the other place and so much examples are there regarding that so like this this vichar if you are making that in the pathway of bhakti there are all thorns and thorns in the pathway of bhakti the only thorns are there to the thorns you know that all the four direction there are thorns and thorns that's it in all the four direction there are thorns that is that's it there is no pathway open for us to get uh, out of that there is only just guru vishnu can save us that's it what to do you just think of that completely fully what you what you want to do you just take this decision final decision what you want to do so that's why shila ragunath das ko swami was speaking such a nice vichar in front of us in order to protect us and he is speaking that oh my mind oh my heart if inside your heart some kind of desire is there if you have some kind of desire what kind of design i'm speaking here that about radha govind yugal sarkar that kind of service you want of radha govind if you have this kind of desire oh my heart you just uh, think of this that if you have that you uh, seva of the yugal sarkar that kind of actual seva mood is there inside you then definitely you don't need to go inside all of this at all don't need to get uh, um, entangled in all these things at all you don't need to go in all these things at all that uh, not at all in golok and vrindavan dham you cannot go there at all just be careful on this point just become intelligent and be careful when inside your heart it will stay that uh, the heart will become contaminated the up to that point in the pathway of bhakti the topmost udaya can't be there at all how you can desire that that you can at the topmost 
एडवांटेज इन भक्ति लेट इन दैथ वे ऑफ भक्ति दैट इज वन काइंड ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट दैट जस्ट टू डू दोट सेव ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान दैट परमानंद पूर्ण That's why they are not at all asking moksha vancha at all, mukti vancha. They are not at all asking at all the devotees what they will get after getting the mukti. That I have already told you yesterday about this point. Maybe you can understand this point again. I will be speaking again. That topmost cheating, that apart from this, no cheating can be there in this whole material world. The topmost cheating, who are they? Who they are doing? That they are cheating themselves. Self cheating propensity they are doing. everyone that whole actually actually are collected and i'm speaking that they are actually doing self cheating on their own they are cheating that their own they are cheating why that in shri chaitanya ji tamrit actually is written already that uh, openly and f- firmly it is written there it is uh, openly written there that kitab it is compared with a kitab dharma arth kaam and moksha kitab it is cheating propensity dharma arth kaam and moksha dharma arth kaam agyan to mera naam ko hi ek job agyan tamo ka naam hai that agyan tamo that is actually called kit kitab that agyan tamo gun that is called kit kitab kaitab means that you are cheating your own self and others as well it means that i have already told you previously that there are four different kinds of defects yeah that all the four directions there is actually vishe there there are four different kinds of vishe and defects are there and after that the bonded jiva any how he can't get out of there only by the kripa of pure guru vishnu he can get out of that just be careful on this point any how he can't go out of that bondage at all why that is brahm pramad vipralupsa and karna part of these four things brahm pramad vipralupsa and karna part of and out of that there is no uh, there is no uh, capability of any bonded jiva to get out of that so what to do that's why actually it is written that bonded jivas that uh, they have taken the ashray of uh, pure guru vishnu of lotus feet then brahm won't because no pramad vipralipsa will stay there and no self cheating propensity will automatically destroy if you will get the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu that this kind of cheating propensity won't you that is actually in the name of agyan tamo dharma arth kaam moksha etc all these actually uh, cheating propensities they are nothing else that with one song punjabi people are speaking very nicely that in the song it looks very nice but in actual in reality uh, if you manifest that point in your life then it will become a painful situation for you that they know everything that they very easy to speak and uh, so why actually you are going towards money you tell me if you are actually speaking very nicely if you nicely can uh, just uh, sing like this that why you are actually moving towards uh, money and why you are speaking this song and again you are running for money if uh, a- actual realization is there in you then why you are actually you are com- why not you are coming to the bhajan life are maharaj in uh, home household life it's good because in household life bondage is there what kind of bondage is there is no rope no chain is there 
who is actually just supporting you in that but still you have attraction for your wife i have to go i my wife is there whatever in the night time you are there that wife will just gets fearful no scared where is my husband so what kind of bondage it is you see unknown bondage no rope is there no chain is there there is no magic but there is actually definitely magic of maya devi definitely it is there that it just to speak in a song it's very easy but in order to realize that practically that whole sweat will come in your body that you will get topmost anand no in this in it is just one kind of drama of bhajan one drama of bhajan it is that's it glamour position name fame is there are maharaj you can come here so we would ni- find it very nicely that all respect is there mala is there and new new all vichar is there so everything is just getting inside your mind like this so this that this agyan tamo that is actually called kitab that is cheating propensity what actually is coming in that category dharma artha kaam and moksha etc all these are coming everything is coming la puja pratishtha adi that's why it's adi word is used here that about dharma if you can make this vichar then that about dharma if that what do you mean by dharma arth kaam about that actually it is also spoken there actually cheating propensity why because the dharma is is actually general dharma here that is not actual dharma that is not atma dharma that is not bhagavad dharma but gokaran ji maharaj to his father he is not at all speaking about the other dharma at all he is just restricting him to do the kind of other dham dharma that lok dharma that samaj dharma lok dharma general dharma all you just need to reject that completely that man dharma samaj dharma everything you just need to reject it is of no use at all there is no use of at, at all of all this dharma that this kind of material world all this kind of uh, all these objects in this material world is of no use at all you just need to understand it from inside just to speak lecture and oratorship is very easy to do it is very easy to speak like that but to realize that completely so much uh, um, distress is there in that so that's why in shri rai ramana sambad i will be already discussing from very last years that there in shri mad bhagavatam it is written that karma you are actually doing that without karma you can't stay at all but nobody actually is there because he want to make foolish he i'll be doing the karm are bhagwan can't do that he will not at all give the result he want to make us foolish <laughs> but bhagwan actually speaking it clearly bhagwan speaking himself bhagwan wants to make us foolish that's why he's speaking like this and that up without karma nobody want, nobody can stay whether they will be doing karma or whether they can do vikarma or definitely they will be do a karma so these three categories definitely the persons will be do out of the three they will do one that what that karma is of no use at all that it is karma is of no use it is useless karma karma ka kya matlab what do you mean by karma it means that to to perform dharma and what do you mean by dharma dharma means uh, that parartha parata means that under guru vaishnav go brahman all actually you just need to serve that and you for your own selfish motive in order to satisfy your selfish motive in order to slightly you don't have this kind of uh, remembrance that actual karma what is the real target of karma that 
इट मीन्स टू डू समथिंग कंक्रीट दैट प्योर गुरु वैष्णव ऑफ दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एक्चुअली एक्चुअल कर्म इफ दिस इज नॉट ऑल डन एंड यू आर फॉर योर ओन ग्रेटिफिकेशन दे आर ऑल द टाइम बिजी then definitely this kind of dharma won't be able to speak like that this will be equivalent to kama that kama and dharma is totally different from each other the actual target of karma is just to serve pure guru vishnu go mata if that target is not at all there then it will become a karma or it will become vikarma that will not be actual karma but still if just by discussing this shila rai mahashay not at all speaking like this that this dharma that is of of uh, top most usefulness he has not is not all speaking what kind of use of it is at all what ultimately can save is this dharma that this dharma what general dharma you are following it will just protect you no not at all but still you are doing that that he wants to go to heavenly planet that my father actually has gone to the heavenly planet or whether what you know that whether he your father has given you a letter that he has given you mobile text message that he is there in the heavenly planet or he is going to the nark so bhagavad dharma you just need to get acharan to that only then it is possible you can get out of that gokaran ji maharaj speaking to his father his same thing what you are doing you just need to follow bhagavad dharma and just need to reject all kind of uh, other dharms that is just to see the uh, incapability of others you don't need to see that so shri ram ram mahashay also speaking to understand the point that i'll not be going deep into because i have very less time that varna ashram dharma that if bhagwan is not at all the target of varna ashram then it is useless After that was actually spoken by Sutra Goswami. And in Gita also Bhagwan speaking what? Where you will go now? You tell me where you will go. Everything actually being explained here, and at the last Gita, in the Gita also, Bhagwan speaking up to this point. And after that also, different different kinds of uh, tark vitark actually infighting is going on. So much infighting is going on that that nobody is getting the actual uh, happiness They're just tark vitark going on in this in they are all mayavadi that's it that shila all this shila ragunath das goswami pas so much deep vichar is speaking in front of us in order to protect us to get shuddha bhakti so that we can do raganuga bhajan rupanuga bhajan so much merciful is that goswami ji that ragunath das goswami so much merciful on us that so much merciful he is on us that in order to protect us he is actually speaking that whole topmost uh, that of this material world that topmost meaning that raganuga bhajan rupanuga bhajan is there that topmost meaning is there in raganuga rupanuga bhajan even in going to vaikunth also that is also good according to their realm according to their perfection they are actually established there is no problem in that but that topmost anand if you want in your life then definitely you just need to go up till that level up till that stage definitely you go go need to go to vrindavan so so much uh, no anand is there apart from that what is there in vrindavan definitely you just need to go to vrindavan where you will go that in vrindavan definitely you just need to go there is no pathway open apart from that shila ragunath das goswami path has done kripa on us and is speaking very in depth vichar to us that you see if you want to do the seva of yugal sarkar radha govind the transcendental seva in vrindavan then definitely you just need to uh, understand this all you and you just need to 
control your mind and just need to give direction to your mind if uh, some person is going to england america arizona university or washington everywhere you have just stand and you just want to admit you want to educate but you don't know you forgot that you are not first you just need to educate yourself that you just need to educate yourself first by this mana shiksha upadesh amrit you just need to educate that why you are not all educating yourself you tell me what is the reason behind that that automatically you just need to educate educate yourself with that why because they are not different from bhagavad tatva that is a topmost vidya that whether you are doing any kind of education from some university but that bhagavat vidya in order to realize bhagwan in order to realize krishna that is the topmost knowledge topmost vidya definitely you just need to into deep body that what you will do uh, by learning so much from different universities definitely you just need to go if you want to know someone then you just need to know krishna if some slight material education also you are getting you just need to divert it towards bhagavat seva otherwise it will become one kind of bondage for you so today now we just need to give rest up to this point today and uh, we just need to s- i have to rush so much today i have to come here so up till now i have to just give rest up till today sango jo sanskritir hetu asasu vito dhiya sa evo sadusukritah mokshadaram apabritam mancha kalpaturushya ke pasindu vichapati dhanam pavane bho वैष्णव्यो नमो